This is Aaron Fisher, Technology Integration Facilitator for the East Bridgewater Public Schools, and this is an overview of how to modify your bullets for custom bullets. So this can be done inside slides or docs, possibly draw if you're in a text box. I haven't tried it in draw yet, but basically you go and you put in the bullet that you would like. Now we hover over that bullet and we're going to right click it which is giving me a little bit of a hard time because of my screencastify. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to hit more bullets. Notice I can do all of these bullets, which are preloaded, or I can do more bullets. And when I go into more bullets, I have many possibilities, including emojis. So it'll take a minute for that to load. So you'll notice I have all of these symbols that are located within symbols. But if I hit this drop down here, I also have some emoji. And this is pretty fun. And let's say maybe you don't find what you're looking for here. You can also search. So maybe you want a check mark. You can find a check mark as well. Maybe you want a dog. You can look for a dog here or the Chinese character for a dog. Uh, let's say you want a diamond. You can search diamond and you'll get all these variations on diamonds. So you'll see you can modify your bullets really into anything you would want. Emojis would be fun, but you can look for a whole host of symbols. And then you can put those in like so. Be careful that you don't have this extension also loaded, emoji for Chrome. You'll notice that may skew your um, emojis. If I simply turn this off in my extensity, I will not have that error. This is a fun extension though, by the way, emoji for Chrome. And now if I reload, my emoji will go right back to where I need it to go. So two quick tips. Modifying your bullets, right click more bullets, but also disabling emoji for Chrome in order to get your bullets to work. Enjoy modifying your bullets.